channel. Good morning. Um, yeah. Today, I'm getting ready. It's only, it's really early. It's not even three o'clock in the morning yet. I went to bed last night at like seven. But we are gonna get ready. I need to go to the bank. And while I go to the bank, I'm talking to you guys about my car. You guys know, for the longest time, I have been um, trying to decide, and then I did decide, but I'm going back on my mind from, you know, for now, about my car. We're gonna have a little update on it. I know a lot of you guys have been curious about it, whether or not we're gonna keep the BMW or not. So we're gonna go over it today. Um, and you guys are gonna come with me as I go run some errands. So I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna go. Okay, so yes, good morning, you guys. Um, I'm up. I need to clean up my glasses. They have water droplets on them, but it is Monday morning. Monday, May 13th, 3.11 a.m. Um... In case y'all are wondering what we're filming on, we're filming on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I know sometimes people ask, they're like, are, is it on, are you on a camera, Samsung? It's iPhone 15 Pro Max, my everyday phone. I know sometimes I film my 14 Pro Max to free up my normal phone, but today we're not. We got the rest of my coffee here that I've been working on. Um, I got to feed cinnamon, give me some water. We're gonna quickly make the bed. Um, and today's plans, I'm bringing you guys through them. But we won't be vlogging all day. We're just going to have like a little conversation um, this morning. But. Okay, bed's made. We just dropped you guys. We are going to be um, going to the bank, which I'm going to figure out the rest of the stuff right now about the bank. What needs to be, what items are costing what. I'm going to have a have a seat here and figure that out um, and then I'm gonna figure everything out we're gonna go to the bank I'm gonna deposit some money on my way over I'm gonna talk to you guys and we can pretty much finish our conversation in one go but I'm not leaving this early it's only 312 um, I'm gonna wait a while, at least like a good like 45 minutes to at least like four o'clock. Um, just because some people are really weird. So, and my bank's not in the best area, so I don't wanna go out there at this time of night. Um, anyway, but we're gonna go over there. We are going to deposit my money. On the way over, I'm gonna talk to you guys, give you guys an update in this video. After this video, I'm gonna come home. I am going to sit down and plan a whole plan for graduation stuff. Um, the party, the drinks, the food, what days I'm filming stuff, um, self-care days, new video days, because I'm slowly coming back to YouTube from my break. Um, but this is like the first video that I'm filming and then I'm taking, I'm gonna continue my break for like another week or so. Um, once I get that, all that done, I'm going to go out, go lay down a clean, then I'm going to lay down and call this day done. Um, be finished with everything. And yeah, but the big thing, the big thing that I can tell you is that, um, my morning here will be awful productive. My afternoon, my evening will be spent playing GTA and resting. I'm not sure how I'm getting text messages. Oh, 
Okay, they're from last night. I was going to say, who is texting me at 3 in the morning? Anyway, um, yeah. So, anyway, that is that, you guys. Um, tomorrow is going to be a fully restful day. Wednesday, fully restful, but I do have one meeting at 9. So, I'm going to go to that meeting, meet with that teacher, go over grades and all that kind of stuff. And then... The rest of Wednesday will be all for me. Same thing Thursday. And then Friday will be Finance Friday, which I don't think I'm going to film this week. I'm going to wait and I'll film it next week. We're going to slowly come back over next week and the first week of June. I'm going to start plowing out videos. I got a lot of plans going on in my head that I'm not going to share here, but you can check out the backstory behind everything on my Snapchat, which is linked down below. I do daily vlogs there every day when I'm not doing them here on YouTube videos and stuff. So... Anyway, check it out because you guys have the full backstory over there about the whole channel and what's going on. Um, if you want more details, become a community member and you can get more in-depth behind the scene looks into plans and schedules and all that. But for now, I'm not sharing those publicly because they are like, you know, kind of more like private information. Not really, but like I don't want anyone predicting what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, but um that's that. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this whole checklist together for my stuff from Amazon. I'm going to go in and read a little bit of my book and um, go on my phone for a little bit, um, can collect my heyday rewards. And then after that, then I'll get ready and I'll leave here about almost about four o'clock. Then we'll, then we'll leave and we'll go to the bank. I got to get the money out of my binder ready too. So, okay. Let me clean these glasses. I'll catch you guys when we're leaving. Okay, got my binder. I pretty much wiped her dry. <laughs> I am going to take this to the bank. 300 and deposit that this morning. And then we're going to come back and clean. But we're going to have a conversation on the way over. I'm just going to count this to verify. That's going to go to the bank, and I wanted to throw... What are you going to do that this week? I'm going to wait. This payday, I want to put some money in my wallet, like cash. Just like a, like a ton. So. I got this new wallet at Kohl's. I am just obsessed with it. The brand is, that can go out because I don't need it. Um, you know what? I don't even see no stitching of the name in here. I think it's pronounced Zara Vadley. It's SV. I don't know for sure, but maybe it's in the zipper. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got the tag still. It is simply Vera, Vera Wang. It was $30 at Kohl's. It is beautiful. In case you guys are interested in it. Okay. These need updated. So take care of that when I get back. These are budget binder balances. So I'll update those when I get back home. But I'm not leaving just yet. I'm going to sit down and read for a little bit. But I ordered and drink my coffee. I ordered um, I'll just show you guys. Okay, I ordered, I needed something for like my $25 like thing. So I got this um, aesthetic, <laughs> I didn't see that. It is um, 
Aesthetic Hydration Cosmetics Facial Moisturizer Essential Eye Cream for the entire face, anti-aging, hydrating Korean skincare. And then I ordered these Vitever 100 sets, 16 ounce coffee cups, perfect ounces, and they are disposable, but I'm not going to actually throw them away. I'm going to use them like three or four times because like I refill them and like even my ones I get from like Starbucks, I usually will like use for like a day or two. So anyway, um, because it's so much waste. And then I ordered, those are coming today. And then I ordered my microwave, which is coming Thursday. And I ordered two of these Bacama Hanging Vine Eucalyptus. Well, it doesn't say they're eucalyptus, but it looks like eucalyptus. So, and those, yeah, they are eucalyptus. And I wanted those, they should look like that. I wanted those so I can clean the entire bookcase. And I, or my, like headboard thing um my bookcase headboard and i can stick one right here on the edge and let it hang over and then one over there on my side of the bed and let it hang over and we got cleaning to do when i get back a lot of cleaning i've been putting things off i've been down the dumps i have been busy um it's been crazy so anyway i am going to sit down here for a little bit i'm gonna firstly pack up my bag to go away this morning so, let's do that real quick. I'm going to read for a little bit. I need my wallet. I need this phone, which I'm going to put on vibrate in my bag. And then I will grab my keys on the way out. And in the meantime, I'm going to drink some coffee. It is currently... 3.39. So I'm going to sit down here, sit with cinnamon for a little bit, and read for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to go. Okay, let's read. Okay, everybody, so in my car, in the car, we're gonna talk on my way over the bank. Um, need to get some heat on, a little bit of heat. It is only 53 out. Okay, let's talk on my way over there. So basically what I've been thinking about is my car, okay? I drove it last, not yesterday, Sunday, but last Sunday. And I really, really liked it. You know, driving it again and just enjoying my car and all that, you know? And it's a nice car. I mean, I got this car, it was my dream car and I got it. And now what? I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, sell it, whatever. So I've taken some time and I've thought about it. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. You guys are gonna have to talk with me like as it's dark. But I took time to think about it and I have decided that ultimately I wanna keep it. The only two options that I have currently for my car to fix my car is to firstly is so it's kind of foggy out um is number one i can buy an obd port linker thing link my car up 
cards, link my phone, and I'd have to buy the OBD port for $39.99. Then I would have to buy the phone app, or I'm sorry, the OBD reader for $79.99, which is uh, $80 on Amazon, which works with the code Bimmer code. And then I would need to buy the app that goes along with that, which is the Bimmer code, um, not the Bimmer code app, but the Bimmer code actual like coding app, which is $39.99. That's what's $39.99. So I'm looking at 80, 90, 100, 120, 130, $130 just for me to get an app. And that's not to fix the problem. That's to code the issue out. Okay. Right. So that's to code the problem out on my, on my car. Just get rid of the adaptive headlight malfunction light. That's not even going to fix my headlights. My headlights are supposed to flutter, like, you know, go up and down and float and change direction based on my car. Whether I go down a hill, they're supposed to point kind of down a little bit more. I go up a hill, they're supposed to point up some more. I turn left or right, they're supposed to move a little bit. And that gives you, you know, better view across, you know, all the corners of the vehicle. Buying that part is just going to code that feature out. And I don't really want to do that. It's a feature that was put on by BMW and I want to use it. I enjoyed the feature without it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see on corners and stuff. So the other option is to buy the brand new module for my headlight, take the bumper apart, and then me, my grandfather is the only person who really, you know, knows about cars that will help me. My dad is a phenomenal person with cars, but we're not talking. Um, I don't got anybody else. It'd be me and my grandfather. We are close and we, you know, we can work on that stuff together. So anyway, um, he would be the person to help me. And we're, we, that's what my, that's what I plan on doing now is I got the module, which is supposed to fix the adaptive headlight module. And that's the module I ordered. It was $62, the replacement on Amazon. I did not order the original because the original I think is like, I don't know, it's a few hundred. I think it's like, might be 200. I don't remember. But anyway, um, so I ordered the new, the, the aftermarket module off of Amazon for $62. And what I need to do is the next steps to go along with this car is to take off the bumper, put in the module in the headlight. I'm going to start the car up after I get everything connected. Make sure that this lights off in here, this adaptive headlight malfunction. If this light is not off, that means the module either one needs to be coded or two, that's not the problem. I should know though if that's the problem because whenever I take out the current module, I should be able to see if there's any like, um, like if the current module is like eaten away, like corroded, that's the word I wanted, corroded. If the module fixes it, then I'm going to take the headlight, I'm going to look across it for any cracks because some way, somehow, the headlight is fogging up with condensation and I know it's not a fully airless system, but the issue is that somewhere there's a crack or a, or a hole or something in the headlight where air is getting in. And that's also allowing a little bit of water to get in through the humidity in the air. So I need to look at that and find that and then I'm gonna go into Lowe's and I'm gonna buy some clear sealant and I'm going to make sure I seal up the crack, the hole. It's probably a crack. Um, I know there's air holes that are in the headlight. So I, you know, I have to leave those alone. But the ones that are not supposed to be there, cracks or any other holes that are not meant to be there, I need to fix. What I would preferably like to do is to replace the module. And then I like to just buy brand new headlamps. Brand new LED, not like right now I have LED, but then they're also mixed with Haligan and they are like, they're adaptive. I like to just buy super ultra, ultra bright, LED bright brand new headlamps made for my car, like an aftermarket design. The problem with doing that is, um, they're so expensive. That'll cost me a thousand some dollars for the ones I found on Amazon, which are like the brand new, like the current, well not the current, but like the 2022 five series um, F10. 
actually it's not called an F10, that's the body style, sorry, 5 Series. So all the 5 Series, 520, I think it's only 530 now, 530, 535 maybe I think, I don't remember. But anyway, as far as everyone out there who may be thinking, uh, you know, you should have bought a BMW, you're stupid. I will say, I've had this car now for over a year. I've had it since December 21st of 2023. No, December 21st of 2022, I think. Yes, December 21st of 2022. And I've had this car since then. And it has been a pleasure. I've had no issues. The one issue I had was my speaker blowing out and that was partially my fault because I was blaring my radio way too loud. And other than that, I've had no issues, no problems are in this little bit of a headlight thing. So I'm just here to let you guys know I've had no other problems with this car. This is the first big problem that I've had. And it's my fault because I ignored it for so long. What I should have been doing is whenever I saw that that headlight was condensated up, I should have been automatically trying to get that condensation out and listen to what people were saying online about, you know, if you leave the condensation in the headlight, just wait, it's gonna end up ruining your module. And I didn't listen to them. And then I left it just sitting there for like probably weeks. And then I ended up coming out to my car and I drove it that one morning and I see that lights on there, adaptive headlight malfunction. So, wow, you guys can see me. Anyway, so that's the thing. That's what we're working with here. But this car, I just can't get over, you know, the biggest thing with it is how comfortable this car is. I mean, you go around corners and it is just so soft. If you're easy on the accelerator, you know, it is just so nice and soft, comfortable. It goes over, just glides over bumps. I mean, just glides. And I mean, it is just the most comfortable car I've ever, ever rode in. And that's what's making me want to keep it because it's like, I've been driving the Jeep and I'm getting used to the Jeep now. But driving this, I drove it last week and I was just stunned by how soft and comfortable and quiet the cabin is. I mean, even at highway speed, it's so quiet. Everything is made for comfort. And then you put this car over into sport mode and this thing is an absolute beast on the road. I mean, this thing's a beast. It's a literal beast. Um, so <laughs> I just can't get over that fact with it. Um, don't want that much, let me need that good a fan on. So yeah, I'm just like totally in love with this car. Um, the And plus summer's coming up and I know last summer, this air conditioner in this thing worked so good. The Jeep's air conditioner is good, but it's not as good as this car. Nothing I don't think will ever beat my BMW. This car has the absolute best air conditioning ever. So anyway, that's the thing right now. I highly doubt I'm going to get rid of it. I have a second payment due. I'm now behind one payment because I skipped a payment because I thought I was going to be selling it. So I got to fix that payment, which I can do that all at once, but am I? No, I'm going to make payments. I'm going to call, make an arrangement. So I got to call, make arrangements about that and just make a little bit of an extra payment every month to catch up on the payment that I missed, which if I do like $50 extra a month, It'll take me 51, 52, 53, 54, 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 months to catch the payment. Actually, 9 months. Because my payment is 450, which is mostly interest because this was financed through my grandfather's name and it still is in his name through financing. And that's what I want to work on is then refinancing it in my name. So. I bet that if we go park my car and I look, I bet my headlight is filled with condensation this morning because it is a truly foggy, foggy morning out. 
so I'm sure that it's filled up with condensation. But that is it. I'm about five or ten minutes away from the bank. About I am going to go over there, take care of some business early this morning. It's currently 418. And then I am going to drive back towards home, take the long way, and then I'm going to take a little scenic route and enjoy my morning, listen to some music. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and I am going to work on doing some cleaning, work on scheduling some things. Um, and that's about it. It's really, really foggy. I got to slow down. Especially this road, because half the time I come across here and these people's dog is out in the middle of the road. So. Anyway. But yeah, go home, do some cleaning, set up graduation plans for the graduation party that I'm going to be having, which is going to be something very, very simple. Just like four people are going to be having it. But I'm going to have more vlogs coming out. You guys will see a part two to this video. And then you guys will see more videos coming on the way. I posted on YouTube my full plan in the community page. You can go read about what's coming up next. Um, I'm not going to talk about it here in this video. I don't want to make this video long. I just wanted to give an update on my car. Let you guys know that pretty much the ultimatum is I'm keeping my car. I'm keeping the 2014 BMW 528i with xDrive. So, because this car is, I mean, MSRP with all the upgrades that the guy or girl, whoever bought this originally got, the MSRP is like $64,000. I am driving a $64,000 car in 2014, in 2024, which is now 10 years old, but it is, you know, it's not worth that price. And that's why I don't want to get rid of it because it's not worth anything near of what I, what we owe on the car and what I feel the car is worth. I love this car. It is a nice, really, really nice car. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you all for stopping by and tuning in with me this morning on this early morning, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye, guys.